this was a beautiful film of a man in a tragic crisis who finds some inspiration from a child he befriends. Gorgeous cinematography, overhead shots, and close-ups were stunning. The lead actor, the fellow that plays Dan, is very engaging, and I thought he told the story well, simply with his facial expressions. You could see the pain in his face. The young girl, who was very charming, playing Chloe, a very talented actress, and fun to watch. The editing in the beginning was so cool. It was, it told a story in and quick snippets. It was very dynamic and engaging, and we sort of got what was happening very quickly, uh, which I thought was excellent. The drone shots in this were beautiful, uh, just gorgeous shots up, up above the water and the cliffside. Um, the acting is also really well done in this film with the little girl and the man. Um, I loved uh, seeing their interaction. They had really great chemistry together. I love the trope of the precocious young child, you know, bringing the man up back from the brink. Um, she, she knows what's happening, um, and she's trying to help him in her own way, which I thought was cool. Um, and the story itself is very sweet and very heartwarming. I think you do a really good job of taking this very serious subject matter of this person on the edge and flipping it on its head and, um, seeing someone trying to keep them from going off the edge and, and, that simple thing tying them together as a kite. I think you build upon this relationship as sudden as it is in a really interesting way. And I think you use the situation to your advantage in the dialogue and building um, not only suspense, but almost a comedic aspect in it as well. And it rounds out um, with them having a really interesting relationship at the end. I think this is shot really well. I think the pacing really plays into this odd kind of suspense building throughout. She's opinionated. She's cool. She has tons of questions. She's vibrant and full of life, which is such the opposite of his character. So it's a beautiful juxtaposition between the two of them. And then as the story goes on, you realize that Maybe she is. Uh, she understands a lot more about what this situation is than we even thought in the beginning. She, her questions challenge him a lot, and challenge how he sees the world. And there's moments where he can't handle it. He clearly cannot handle her questions because he gets violent with her and puts her in danger and enforces, you know, himself in a position where he has to save her because he put her life at risk. And in the same way he was planning on taking his life, he now has almost took hers. Um, she knows exactly what she's doing in her questioning. She knows exactly what she's doing by propositioning him to help her fly the sky. And in her childhood, childlike innocence, it's clear that she understands what he's going through. Really great moments in this uh, with the little girl, very talented actress. Mm -hmm. The sword thing. I, I mean, that was just great. Um, but yeah, very talented um, performances all around. When you think about kites, you know, you think about your quest for freedom, whether it might be a peace of mind for this character, you know, he's kind of living in this dreamland, so to, so to speak, but she's anchoring him to the reality that he's facing before his very eyes. And it's a moment of opportunity to explore new horizons for both characters. You know, the young girl is sort of unique and full of life and inspiring. You know, she's flying this kite and it's such a childish act to do, so to speak. And then the next thing you know, she's like pulling out her sword and like trying to, um, show how strong she is and how she can take care of herself yet she's pretty much not even w playing with a full-on blade like you see that it's not um it's not like a proper sword that she's wielding right but we see this dynamic happen between the two and um he sort of rejects her um, he rejects this reality that he's faced, but um, they sort of have this entanglement of uh, 
emotional moment together. Heart, heart melting. Uh, I like a heart melting, like, you know, tough guy whose who's heart of ice is melted by, you know, a sweet child like, um, you know, Despicable Me or The Kid or anything like that. I think those stories always hit me. And this is no exception. Um, I think the actress girl was phenomenal. I think the main guy was also phenomenal. I think I liked the kite as a motif. I liked the writing. Um, it Because, like, for one location, it told a lot of story and it got you, you know, all the way there. Like, it, like took you on that emotional roller coaster 